Welcome back, everybody. This is Next Day Reactions. I'm your boy, Big T, and we are back with another one. Back and better than ever. I hope your holidays was fantastic, fantabulous, fantastic, a fantasy, a thousand that I made that word up, but it worked, baby. Let's go. We diving in today. We doing it. Black Friday shopping, and our Black Friday shopping is going to take us to something a little different, a little interesting. We'll see how it goes. Kid Rock, Don't Tell Me How to Live, featuring Monster Truck. Okay, um, I've listened to a little bit of Kid Rock, and I like some of the stuff he's done. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Kid Rock knows how to play his character to perfection. Not saying it's fake. I'm just saying like he knows who he is, what resonates, and he plays it well. Fuck all you hoes! Detroit till I die, motherfucker! I kind of hope this kind of gets back to his roots of like, you know, some real, you know, fuck all you hoes, like fuck everybody. Like, I'm Kid Rock, and y'all can go fuck yourselves. Like, I don't know. I like that, Kid Rock. Fuck all you hoes! Detroit till I die, motherfucker! Ooh. I like it. Talking all that bullshit! God, he looks older. Ooh. Middle finger, okay. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. I don't really care what style of music he does, as long as it's like... Fuck everybody. Fuck you. I like him unapologetically being him. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to leave. Let's do it, baby. I'm a moonshine, sit for straight, slipping in the darkness. Far from heartless, I'm more like the sharpest. Tool in the shed, no, I've never been the smartest. But make no mistake, I hit the fucking hardest. I <laughs> Like the tool in the shed. You say he was the sharpest or wasn't wasn't always the smartest. I like that. And it's and it's it's old, it's old school vibe. He's got his old school vibe down perfect. Ooh, hit the hardest, baby. You heard me screaming, and twenty years later, bitch, I still fucking mean it. That's what I'm talking about right there. 20 years later, I still fucking beat it. 20 years later, I'm still me. And fuck everybody. Get it, boys. I'm gonna go on the record. Like, I don't like when people just say, like, suck my dick, I don't give a fuck, kiss my ass, and all that shit. I think it's lame as fuck. But Kid Rock can do it. Because it's his, it's been his thing. Like, you know, he has, uh, he was grandfathered in, he made it cool. When everybody else does it, it's lame. But I don't know, put in the comments you disagree. Is there somebody else that kind of has that vibe that, uh, like, can literally say that in a song, and I'm like, yeah, because when most people say it, I'm like, all right, come up with some better shit. But Kid Rock, I don't know, maybe I'm just biased because I'm an old fuck. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. So what the fuck's up with all the backlash? You snowflakes, here's a new slash. <laughs> oh, no, no. Tom McDonald has a song. I don't know if this is like, I don't think this is a reference to it, but it's where my mind went. Was Tom McDonald's song, Snowflakes. You know, calling people's, which isn't like, the, I don't think he's referencing it, but it's just funny that he's also calling the generation of snowflakes. <laughs> it's like a consensus at this point. I like that. Oh shit. He's going a little hard here, like Damn bro. I'm not I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying damn bro, that was You hitting the kids hard, bro. All oh, the kids. 
not the kids. How do I reach these kids? Oh my god, dude. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying. He's swinging. Here's a situation. A nation of pussies is a next, next generation. generation. And it's fucking catchy too. I remember it immediately. Oh fuck. Here's a situation. A nation of pussies is a next generation. Social is that shirt say I think it's I just saw it. Social media sucks. A nation of pussies is a next generation. <laughs> That's awesome. CNN, and NBC, the White House. Oh. Wait, hold on. What's in the back? Establish. Okay, so that's the establish domestic tranquility. The whatever they they call it, the Bill of Rights or the pre. I don't know what they call it. The, we sang a song about it. We might not want, I'd pause it a lot here, I'm sorry, but we may not want the kids doing all that, like getting, you know, drunk and cruise and, I mean, there is a positive thing to this generation, I don't think they, I don't know, they'd be hitting those drugs hard, I don't know. He is swinging hard though. Church, wrong, pew, get a clue, a crew, you fake. Doug Monster Truck. I just realized what this is. This is like an anthem for an older generation that, like, they want the older generation to acquiesce to the young people and the way they want the world to be. And this is the old. This is an older generation anthem. Like, fuck you. Get the bottom of my shoe, you punk ass little bitches. And as that, looking at it through that lens of like older people telling younger people that they can suck their dicks, I'm kind of cool with it. It's it, it it's kind of it's kind of hard when you think about it like that. They're just telling all the young people like we know we've been through shit. You pussy ass motherfuckers ain't been through shit. You snowflakes. I liked it. I don't know. Put in the comments. Maybe I'm the fat has gone to my head. Wait, wait, is he flying on a middle finger? He was. That's awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know y'all gonna fucking kill me for pausing, but I didn't realize we're going into a guitar solo. I want to properly give it the respect it's due, and if you got a problem with it, like Kid Rock says, fuck you. Here we go. Get it. Now, it's not like the greatest guitar solo of all time. I just think it really accented the song well. And it had, like, you know, enough jumps in there and it a range there that it sounded cool. Um, I bet it'd be fun to watch him play that live. But, like, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of crazy guitar solos. So, like, it's not the greatest one ever. But I really liked that one. That was cool. Natalie. Fuck you. You never tell me shit, you never flip my script because I'm more outrageous than the Vegas strip. You're like me, very bitch. I'm hard and crisp. I risk kill Billy, but I'm filthy rich. So, wait, so he's harder than the strip, and you're like Mayberry? I 
I like the 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 put like the uh, those are some great people. You know what I mean? Those are some, that if you are under the age of at least thirty, maybe like retro fans might be, but like I mean I mean un, older than that to have listened to it, but like to really respect them. You know what I mean? Like, I like that. It's like, you know what? You don't respect these motherfuckers right here. Fuck you. I like it. Boss. Ooh. Ooh, shout out to the song. I like that, man. That was that was good. Fucking boss. Pretty, but I slag more dick. Oh shit! I like that. It was uh, probably very. It was probably very insulting to some people. I could totally understand that, but uh, I really, I, I liked it. It was a lot of fuck you. It was a lot of you know, suck my, uh, suck my dick. Like I liked it, and it had a message in there that was like, you may be new school, but we still here, and we're gonna do things our way. Fuck you. And we're unapologetically going to do it. And it was done in a dope-ass way. I, that was fucking awesome. Put in the comments below what you think. Uh, if you're watching at this point in the video, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Um, we thank everybody who's watched our videos and subscribed to the channel. All the great fan bases we've d touched with. Uh, Y'all are amazing. All the different comments we got reading it is great. Um, you know, mostly positive. Um, and we really do just appreciate you and I hope you have a safe holidays. Um, as always, we love each and every single one of you out there. We'll see you again soon. Be a friend, tell a friend.